taking down Johns Hopkins, a huge powerhouse out of the Big Ten. The Hens beating Hopkins for the first time in school history earlier this season, but have since dropped three straight games. But the opening faceoff will now get us underway. Delaware and Towson are off and running. As Delaware takes the opening faceoff. Logan Premtage winning that one. It passed. It's now a loose ground ball. Still loose as it bounds out of bounds. Both teams vying for that one. Towson possession. In goal today, Matt Kukiri, the red shirt. And Towson has drawn first blood here against Delaware. The Hens desperate to get back in the win column. Yeah, Towson will control out of the faceoff. They're going to have to find a way to win faceoffs at a 50% clip. They struggled all year. Prent Taj, the main guy for Delaware, you know. Against Duke, they ran a lot of guys in the faceoff because Duke was so stout. Which you expect Duke to be, and they tried to find some, someone that could find an advantage. But it's been prem Taj for most of the season. Towson not great at faceoffs either. Past Josh Bayer from Delaware. And another faceoff for the Hens down to nothing. Definitely not how they want to start at home. And Towson will get another possession right here. A nice pass behind the back, flipping the ball. Find the back to a teammate after Towson wins the faceoff. In shots on goal at all, Dan. So just be able to get that is good. And then you get hockey assist from Nick Jessen. He really started that playoff right. So if Delaware can win this faceoff, they'll have a chance to tie. As the possible faceoff violation call sends it to Delaware before a formal faceoff can occur between these local foes. Delaware really managing this game, Connor, sticking in it after being outshot in the first period. Yeah, I mean, I think their defense did a wonderful job after the two early goals. 14 shots for Towson, but only five on goal. Kilcarry came up with a couple important save and saves, and so far, Delaware gets the face off. So that's their third win of the day, 3-2. to two. They're having an advantage there, looking to go quick on the offensive end. An auspicious start to the second quarter for Delaware to win the face off and then take the goal-scoring opportunity. The hands have knotted this one up early in the second period. UD draws to a 2-2 two to two tie. And a nice job there. Hockey assist. You get it from Kurt Stewart to Joe Spears, the defenseman, the sophomore defense player for the Hens. And they get an early goal here to knot it up. Spears gets the chance to get in the goal for really a, a rare opportunity for a defenseman, just his second goal of the season. But he was in the right spot at the right time, took the close range shot, and converted. Delaware, big morale boost for the Hens to a team that struggled on face-off this season to win a face-off and then quickly turn before Delaware could maybe even finish celebrating that goal by Spears. All of a sudden, the air comes out of the balloon a little bit. And it's really the importance of the face-off, Dan. I mean, if you can win the face-off, you can control the tempo of the game as Delaware does right there. Just like that, Connor, you are on the money with that one. Delaware turns a face-off win into Mike Robinson's first goal of the day to get this back to a tied score at three apiece. All of a sudden, the scoring floodgates have opened in this one. Towson and Delaware are having all kinds of trouble in the first quarter. So defense is really stealing the headlines in the first frame. But now the offenses have just been trading goals with exactly 60 seconds into the second quarter. Yeah, I mean, sluggish the offense were in the first period. I mean, they must have got some talks from their coaches after the break and another face-off win from Logan Fremtosh. The difference for Delaware, though, has been in the face-off circle, setting up the offense for quick looks before Towson can really get itself set on defense. Advantage. Entering this next face-off, but be to the grad student from Bridgewater, New Jersey. Breaks through for Delaware against Brennan. Another win by Hockenberry. Hockenberry been a bit of a revelation today. Twist for Robinson's 37th goal of the season. Bida really crafty finding Robinson across the way from behind the cage. Another ground ball win for Delaware. And take some contested shots. Five of Delaware's six total goals in this one coming in the second quarter. And yet another faceoff win for Delaware before a yard sale. Loose stick forced by Towson. We'll take it right back. Yeah, strong for Hockenberry there. Just couldn't hold it there. Faceoff 
keeping the ball out of Towson's hands. And then defensively, when Towson did have chances, Delaware did let them get good ones. Mac O'Carry also played really well, I think. Seven saves, three goals. He has a good save percentage there at 70%. He's under 50% for the year, but has some confidence going in this game. Towson takes the opening faceoff of the second half. We are underway in the third quarter. Here's Pei. Now a bit of a football score out there, seven to three. As Connor, you were referencing the Delaware football spring game to follow this ball game at Delaware Stadium. But the Hens on the right side of that football score leading by four goals here in this second half, four to seven. Now the ensuing faceoff will get underway. Delaware can win this one. Might help the momentum overall stay with the Hens. And it will do just that as the official's whistle signals Delaware possession. So the Fighting Blue Hens will get going. Looking for, for the first time in quite some time, an answer to a Towson goal. Connor Brennan had a nice day today, but that time all he was left to do was do the splits on the turf at Tubby Raymond Field. Delaware looking to follow that up with a ground ball win out of the faceoff. Just some really strong fights from Roland Hockeberry, but Towson will recollect that ground ball or try to at least as it's from, and Delaware gets it back. Robinson is Johnny on the spot that time. We will resume. Towson takes the face off to stack back-to-back -back possessions. The Tigers and then put some more pressure on Delaware on the run with the head of steam. Shot stopped by Kilkiri. Shot by Constantinides. Constantinides had two assists, two goals, so he's been everywhere, especially after that first period where there wasn't much involvement aside from J.P. Ward in terms of handling the ball and getting the offense facilitated. It's been a lot of Vita, even behind the fourth quarter. CAA men's lacrosse between Towson and Delaware. Tigers and Fighting Blue Hens going at it. And this one, after a slow first quarter in terms of scoring, Delaware picking it up in the second with Constantinides. Delaware and Towson go back at it right there in the face-off circle. It's a key point, Connor, you're making as Delaware really was helping its run by success it's had in the face-off circle today that really hasn't been present all season for UJ. Yeah, and that, that'll give another possession there to Towson after 7-9 and it's kind of same song, same dance. It's a UMass game for the Hens. They're faltering a lead that was once at four. Bender, the sidearm. Pretty goal for Towson as it goes to a two-goal lead for Delaware. The Blue Hens feeling the squeeze more as we have entered the fourth quarter. And Towson wins the ground ball shortly after the faceoff. And a bad pass there, though, from Constant. Now is 10 goals on the season. It's an important one for Delaware. Get the fight in Blue Hens back to three goal lead, but Towson does take the face off. To attempt an answer as now the ground ball is loose. Physicality reigns supreme in this sequence. Both teams going at it. It continues to squirt loose. Ground ball still on the loose until a yard sale. Lost stick by Towson. And the sequence concludes with a goal by Delaware. JP Ward from point blank range. Just a physical sequence. All oh, you can chalk that one up to. The ground ball goes all the way to Ward, who finishes the goaling opportunity for Delaware. Uh, uh, Constantine had another bad pass there after winning the face off, basically, and it gave the Hens a chance to get the ground ball. And Towson just couldn't get the ground ball, ran it all the way down to their own 20, trying to pick it up. And Delaware could reverse. I mean, we have a two on one, and you have Kurtz and Ward down there. It's, it's basically impossible to stop. Task Brennan cannot stand up to, and big four is the lead that Delaware gets complemented their offensive play. And just a telling stat in the team stats department, Towson 40 total shots and 23 shots on goal. Delaware 29 total shots and 23 shots on goal as well. So Delaware continues to be the more efficient offensive outfit and it has helped buoy their lead. Now an 11-7 advantage as the faceoff underway. Ultimately, it is Towson coming away with the offensive set. They've had our score as Kyle Berkeley gets his 17th goal of the season. Get it back to more manageable situation for Towson. Still work to do for the Tigers, but they're one step closer. A big face off here. They have Hockenberry in for the Hens. He cannot win it against Constantinides. Constantinides gets the face off win and now to go. Gives time for a couple of possessions. 
tough fight there, and that will be a Towson win. So Constantinides does his job once again. That was Hock, Roland Hockenberry out there. We'll see if Coach DeLuca goes with Premtage here. The task shot there, Gallagher moving well off the ball, and they're going to put in Premtage here for a face off that Delaware needs to win to clinch this victory. Gallagher's fourth goal of the season gets this one back to barn burner status. A close finish now at Delaware Stadium. As the ball is loose, this play mirroring at first Delaware's goal that on a ball that dribbled all the way to Towson's goal for a goal by Ward. But Delaware controls with a penalty drawn by Delaware, at least that would appear. Initially, Delaware in full celebration mode. The crowd also approving of that flag. This looked to be a defensive foul on Towson. And that will take us into a timeout. Prentage there got the grand ball after not able to win the faceoff straight up. He